We will now go ahead and begin our post-race media availabilities. We are now joined by crew chief for the number 19 Bass Pro Shops Toyota for Joe Gibbs Racing, Cole Pern. Thanks for joining us, and congratulations. We'll go ahead and open it up for media. If you have a question, please raise your hand, and we'll get a mic over to you. We'll go in the back to Jordan. Jordan Bianchi, The Athletic. Cole, you guys won last week. Sure you win today. Sure Joe Gibbs Racing finishes one, two, three, four. Is there something to take out of this in the bigger picture looking forward that you guys are the organization clearly to beat for the championship? Uh, yeah, maybe. I mean, uh, obviously a good couple weeks, so we all know how this sport can go. Um, but, I mean, I think for us to get a one, two, three, four as a company of, of any track, it was going to be here. I mean, this has been, uh, you know, a really great track for uh, for JGR over the years and Toyota, you know, specifically. So I think, uh, yeah, I mean, just having uh, good notes to go off of and continue to try and improve uh, improve here is so uh, so critical. And it's uh, it's hard when you're racing your teammates. Um Everybody's looking at each other's notes when you're racing each other. So it was uh, still pretty awesome. We'll come down here to your right, Cole. Peter Strahd at TSJ Sports. Cole, what was going through your mind when Martin got into it with uh, the 17? Yeah, I, uh, I was just like, wow, that's that's a new one. But uh, he did a great job there. Um, you know, to really only – once I saw that we only lost a couple spots was, uh, was impressive. But uh, – you know, it was kind of a bummer at that point because we had, you know, we had chased down the 18 that whole second stage, and then, you know, we uh, way the pit cycle worked out in the restart, we'd, you know, got back by him, and then and then passed the two and got back control of the race. So it was just like, oh man, here we go again. And uh, you know, we just we just uh, made the right adjustments on the last stop. And he did a really good job at the beginning of the run, kind of taking care of his tires. And knew there was a lot of laps left. I think that was the one thing that gave us a little bit of comfort, knowing there was like. 80 laps left. So uh, yeah, he did a s he did a great job. I uh, didn't know it was going to go that well, but uh, l slightly less mad at 17 after uh, after that ending for sure. We'll go all the way over to your left. Uh, yeah, Barry Richmond, Piedmont Broadcasting Corporation, WAKG. You know, last week the coach talked about the Monday morning debrief and things of that nature. But what does it look like when you all as crew chiefs get together? Do you meet? What does that process look like in sharing information within all four teams? Yeah, we meet uh, every Monday, the four of us, and you know some some other managers, and just kind of go over the key, you know, the key stuff maybe from the weekend and and where we're going direction wise as a company, and that's kind of really a that's really our our key meeting kind of planning wise. Um, you know, I think from then we have a few others, but uh, yeah, I mean we uh, we all get along really well. We've worked together for uh, for a lot of years, and and. Uh, you know, generally, uh, when your company is successful, you know, going the same path, it's easy for us to, uh, to all, all kind of see it the same way. And we've now been joined by team owner Joe Gibbs. Are there any additional questions? Good. We'll go over to the <laughs> left to, to Dustin. <laughs> Dustin Long, NBC Sports. Cole, um, obviously it's a great performance tonight, but... I guess I'll be the negative one. Say, look, there's still eight races, eight races to go. There's still a lot more rounds to go. So, what, what is the benefit of tonight? Maybe other than the six stage points, what what matters, and why is why is it tonight important, or is it not as important because there's still so much more down the road? Oh yeah, there's there's tons down the road. There's no doubt about it. But uh, you know, I think, yeah, I mean, obviously the playoff points is probably the biggest positive, and then just win another race i mean it's uh it's the cup series you gotta you can't take that for granted you gotta enjoy every one of them and it's uh it's so hard you know so hard to have everything go right even tonight we had a great car and almost had it go away from us so it was uh i don't know you just gotta enjoy it and uh and take the positive and know you got to go back to work next week i mean that's uh that's the sport and that's what everybody else is going to do in the garage and we have to do the same right and then go up to the press box uh, Adam Cheek, front stretch. Joe, talk a little bit about what the one, two, three, four finish means to you. The first in your four car tenure. Uh, talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I, I absolutely thrill for all of us. Um, I, what I reflect on is all the partnerships we have. When you think about Toyota, what that means to them, calling Bob and Ed and everybody on the phone tonight. It's just a huge deal. I had, a, you know, I called Johnny, couldn't get through. He's probably hunting out in some field someplace. Uh, but and then Jeff at Auto Honors. Um, I, I think 
that's what I kind of reflect on each time. All those people, that, our sport is totally different. People gamble and come with you and say they're willing to, you know, invest some of their uh, resources with you. And then to see them get, you know, get a victory and uh, have all of you guys writing about them and everything is just a thrill. It's a thrill for all of us. Our partnership with Toyota, I think about all of everybody back home. Uh, I think about JD and um, building the race team, Coy being there with us now, and our family. We're just blessed uh, to have the kind of people we, we have around us. And I think that, you know, when you have a night like tonight, it's just, it may never ever happen again, certainly for us. Uh, it was an absolute thrill, and I was just thrilled to be a part of it. We'll go ahead up to the press box. Lee Spencer, uh, RacingBoys.com. Coach, ooh, not only did you sleep, sweep the weekend, but um, one of your grandsons won at New Hampshire. Can you talk about that, please? I got to tell you, I get, uh, <laughs> I come to the cup stuff, and I'm kind of, I guess I'm a little bit used to it. I still get nervous as I'll get out. But uh, when I go see Ty, I get sweaty palms. I get, you know, I'm, I'm about to freak out. And to see him at Loudon, which is a tough place, and you know, to see him have a great day like that was a thrill uh, for us. I've got seven grand boys, and there's only one of them won a race. I got the girl that's on horses, which is a thrill. Uh, but uh, it's a big deal for us, our family, everybody in our family, really, everybody's interned. Every grandkid is interned so far at the race shop, and I keep asking them, "Do you want to do something else? You want to coach? You want to do this?" and they all want to be in racing so, so far. So this will be interesting to see what happens for us. It's a big deal for our family, and I focus on that a lot, you know, grandkids and Coy and our family. I got a question for you. Yeah. I heard you're wearing shorts today. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody said they, they saw a picture of me in shorts. My, leg, my legs are stovepipes, okay? I never got hurt in any sport because you can't hurt stovepipes, okay? And I look absolutely awful, so I might have to find that someplace. <laughs> Whoever got that picture. We've got one more question up in the press box, then we'll go to Jordan and then to Hank. Jerry Jordan, kickingthetires.net. Cole, uh, last year at the Roval, you guys were uh, were leading and dominating there. You got uh, that coming up next week. You plan on just sweeping this whole first uh, first segment of the uh, playoffs? Sounds like a great plan to me. Go on and get the next one after it. So, uh, yeah, I mean, we're just uh, looking forward to getting to the Roval. The road course has been uh, really strong for us this year. And, you know, a little bit this year with different, sorry, this year with the uh, chicane changed on the back. So we'll have to figure that out. And, uh, yeah, we uh, we worked hard on it today with, with all the free time we had. And we're, uh, we'll be ready to go. We'll go to Jordan and then down here to Hank and over to Bob. Jordan Bianchi, The Athletic. This is for Joe. Uh, Joe with Kyle. Denny, Martin have as many playoff points as they have, have, as they have, and as well as you guys are running right now. Is it going to be a disappointment if you don't put two drivers in the championship final at Homestead? Yeah, I, I can't. You know, projecting something like that is so hard in our sport. And I, I reflect back to the last two weeks um, before this, we had, you know, eight cars and races. Seven of them had bad days, and so it's just you know our sport's extremely hard, as all pro sports are. And that's the way it should be. That's the reason why the fans love him to, co to come and see because you have no idea what's going to happen. It's the greatest reality show in the world. We don't know what's going to happen. And um, so I, I get, I'm always so nervous. And, um, you know, I think, I think we got a bunch of people that really are really competitors and get after it. I think we got guys driving our cars and our crew chiefs kind of lead the way it's a big deal and we got everybody back home that's a great part of our our team and i wish they could be here tonight Go to Hank. Limited math skills are, are correct i think you guys have won 15 of 28 races this year have you ever wondered if you're a better football coach or car owner <laughs> <laughs> well let me say this over here i don't do anything so <laughs> I think in football, at least I can scream at people and everything. These these guys scream at me. Uh, so, no, I just, I've been blessed that it, I really tell people this. And I don't, I'm not sure sometimes they believe me, but 
this sport is so much like football. People walk around the corner and they go, you're not going to believe this. And I said, yes, I will. I've already been through this once because I think it's the best people in the world doing something competitive. Uh, it's actually competition. It's money's in it. People, you got all the things that make something dynamic and a thrill. Uh, but I think for, uh, like I mentioned, the fan base, I think they love motorsports. Uh, the, the good thing for me, I've been going to these late model tracks and everything because of Ty's racing. And you just, on Friday nights, these places, South Boston, you couldn't get another person in there. It's, you know, people love to see cars raced, the competitive part of it, and all the fun things that happen. I'm just thrilled to be a part of it. And our, our family loves being a part of it. We'll go over to Bob and then finish up over here at right. Uh, Bob Hockers, Fox Sports. I have one for each. Um, Cole, what does what do you think the last two weeks have said about your team? And is it any does it feel anything like two years ago? Yeah, I mean, I feel like we're uh, every year is different, but yeah, we're we're coming together at the at the right time. And you know, when the playoffs start, everybody's bringing their best, and when you can. When you can win, it's uh, yeah, it's great. But uh, we know it's a, n a new game next week, and it'll be a new game the week after that. So it's uh, you know a lot of people have been you know kind of writing us off, especially you, Bob. Um, but uh, <laughs> keep doing that if you don't mind. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> no, uh, yeah, it's been uh, no, I don't know. We just seem to fly under the radar, and you know it fits our personality, and we're just fine with that. Yeah, but you you guys weren't. Um, coming in in the last maybe five or six weeks coming into the playoffs, I don't know that many people have said, oh, man, they're going to win the first two races. Uh, I think our speed was there. We just, you know, we had stuff happen. And, and uh, you know, I think Michigan, we had a really good car. Bristol, we were really good. Darlington, we were really good. Indy, we got wrecked on pit road 10 laps in the race. It's just, you know, you get things that happen, and all of a sudden you're you're off the radar of everybody. And that's, uh, that's fine. It's just, uh, you know, the guys that are being successful during that time, you know, they deserve the praise. So it's... Uh, I guess it's just the way it goes. I mean, we say it all the time. The sport's so cyclical, and right now we're on a high, and, and things are going well, and we just got to continue to take advantage of it. And for Coach, what's your message to Eric Jones? Uh, solid day, but still going to need um, a big day next week to advance. Yeah, I, I felt like this week we felt, and Eric did, and uh, Chris did, that this was the key week because we needed to come back and pick up a lot of points and get back in the game. Um, and I, picking up 23 tonight was just a huge deal. And so now, at least, you know, we can see what we've got to do, who we're up against. And this will be uh, a huge deal. I think there's about uh, six cars down there. They're not far apart. So this is going to be a wild week. We're going to a racetrack that's very different. And so I think it's going to add for a lot of excitement. Um, uh, I'm really thrilled that it seems like our crowds definitely have ticked up. We're on a high there on TV. And so I'm, I'm excited about um, where we are. I think next week will be a big deal. And I think there's going to be a lot of drama that goes with it. But I think what Eric did is put himself back in it where he's a part of the story. We'll wrap up with one last question over here. Peter Strada, TSJ Sports. Coach, when you hired Colin Martin at the beginning of this season, did you think a 1, 2, 3, 4 finish was even possible? I believe it's only the second time in the sports history this has happened. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I would have ever dreamed 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, no. Um, you know, I think you fight is, this sport is extremely hard. All the things. I think Cole just mentioned, you know, getting wrecked on pit road. <laughs> that could have happened tonight. And you got so much stuff that could happen to you to go through what you go through out there and make that many laps and get up front. It's just, it's extremely hard. I think tonight what helped uh, that um, there were a lot of long runs. And so that helped, uh, not a bunch of wrecks, but uh, I, I just felt like it was, you know, fantastic night. The crowd I felt like was, was really enjoyed a good race. And I know for us, it was a lot of excitement, but I didn't dream. I don't think you ever dream of something like that happening. All right. Thank you, guys. Congratulations.